Our next speaker, Pastor Amadeo D. Edwards, is a student at the Pacific School of Religion, an ordained interfaith pastor and founder of the Integrated Praise Spiritual Center. He has served on the faculty of the Kermetic Institute of Theology and is the West Coast Regional Trans Saints Minister for the Fellowship of Affirming Ministries. Pastor Amandeo, please. How y'all doing? It's okay, you can talk back. Yeah. I get so nervous if y'all get too quiet. <laughs> if y'all know anything about pastors, you start being quiet, we start talking longer. <laughs> So if you want to keep me down to 10 minutes, you better say something back to me. <laughs> I am honored once again to be here. I've been here before. I love these, these opportunities to stand up before so many of my community and just encourage you, inspire you, and awaken you to do something you've never done before. And normally during these um, services, it's about remembering those who've gone on. And I want to switch it up just a little bit. And I want to kind of tell a little bit of my story, if that's okay. I was once asked by someone, did they feel that God made a mistake when I was born a female? And I didn't take very long to answer. And my answer was emphatically no. God did not make a mistake. What God did was give me the opportunity to choose again. <clears throat> they asked me, where did I get that belief from? I said, from the Bible. They said, what Bible? <laughs> I said, the King James Version of the Bible. <laughs> Which King James Version? <laughs> I went to Romans, the 12th chapter, the first and the second verse. And I'll read it for you. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And so if I were at Integrated Praise, I would give a little affirmation or a topic, and it would be, I have the power to choose again. I have the power to choose again. And that's what each and every person that we are going to light candles for did. They decided to no longer conform to the beliefs of this world, to the theologies of this world, to the, the understanding that things are supposed to be one way, the linear idea of this world. And they decided to transform their thinking about who they were and how they showed up in the world based on who they knew they were in God and with God and as a God representation here on earth. And we all have that same choice to choose again. As advocates, we can choose again how to support one another in this community. As trans individuals, we have opportunity to choose how we show up in community. As pastors and leaders and councilmen and councilwomen and governors and lawyers and teachers and doctors, we can choose how we see everyone. We can choose how we honor the words of our Pledge of Allegiance. Y'all remember it? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, with liberty and justice for all, for all. We all have the power to choose again. Make that choice today. <laughs>